Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, America. I am Superior Troy Fraser, our grassroots president, Troy Fraser, coming to you from Southern California, because everybody wants, most people of the world want to be in Southern California. The proof is the flooding in of vehicles and airplanes from all over countries into Los Angeles. I'm just a normal man or a guy that's got some drive by Lord Jesus to lead America for the people, by the people, for the people, by the people on a bottom level. That's what grassroots means. Pluck some grass out of your lawn and the smallest roots in nature. To balance out evils of the world, evils of the country, and the tyranny that presidents present. Because most of them sold their souls to the devil, sold the country to the devil, and want to be billionaires. So anyway, what today's topic is... The scariness of dogs, especially dogs in your house when you you don't own one, dogs in your neighborhood, dogs in Walmart, <coughs> wall fart, or a restaurant. Where they clearly don't belong. So the worst place to have a dog is in your bedroom. Bedroom is the most sacred place on earth to you. That's where you lie in your clean bed and shut out the rest of the world, the country. Get at least your eight hours of rest and not be bothered and uh, not to be invaded like mine has by a lady I was trying to get to know but she was too obsessed over her dog and they always say the same thing oh she don't buy she don't buy her. Yeah, right. Tried biting me and barked at me. So, you don't want your house a madhouse like this used to be because my half sister had nothing to do but to see 12 people per day, every day, all around the clock. And some of them had dogs and then sneak them in. Or, like one man would bring his big dog to the front door, and then uh, someone inside my house would be leaving, or just going outside, and then let the dog in. That's super scary when you're being attacked by a dog in your own house. You know, I got this brother that's really obsessive over dogs, and he turned his back on his family, especially me, his brother. Love and obsess over these dogs. They get voicemail. They have their own Facebook account. They have... More pictures of the dogs, because they're like male and female twins. More pictures of the dogs in the living room than me and family. The dogs are getting UPS or FedEx packages. They dress up the dogs for Halloween. And they shower 
and sleep in the same bed as their dogs. That's disgusting. That's in the Bible. If you sleep with your dogs, punishment is death. If you have a dog, at least have enough um, self-respect and common courtesy to keep them in the backyard and not in your bed. The only advantage is then I won't be hearing your dog as much barking outside. But think about that. Worst thing about the dogs is they're worms and parasites. They have worms in their heart, worms in their fecal matter. And a dog can't clean up anything. Dogs are the filthiest, most disgusting, most gross animal on earth. They can't clean up anything. They don't even bury their own poop. Just dump and go. I guess one lady I was trying to get to know, the dog was pooping in the kitchen. And I threw up in my mouth trying to drop off some a bag of ice. You can you don't believe me you can Google that dogs have worms. And Google says every dog, even puppies have worms because they get the worms from their mama. And then they will say, especially my brother, oh, the dogs have emotions. Oh, the dogs have feelings. Oh, they love you. Of course. That's fake love. Fake. Faker than breast implants. Faker than a Plastic chicken. Don't fall for their fake love. Of course they want to seem like they're happy for you to touch them because they can barely touch themselves. They can only, they don't have hands, they don't have fingers. All they can do is do this, scratching their head or shoulders with their hind legs. It's absolutely disgusting because they must have fleas. You want fleas in your bed, fleas in your couch, fleas in your house, fleas, worms. That's my worst fear is to be dying with worms crawling in, in, in and out of me, making holes outside of my stomach, outside of my skin, going back inside, multiplying and getting bigger. Well, since they have four legs, no hands, they got eyes, nose, you know, a lot of smelling, they're all mouth. All they want to do is eat and bite things. Eat and bite things. I mean, who, who else would just chew on a bare bone? It's disgusting and getting you nowhere. Of course they're going to show you that they're happier now that you're petting them. Because they can't even rub the back of their head. But even if you're an avid dog lover, got a couple big dogs yourself, isn't that a crime and ridiculous and scary? If a big dog comes charging into your yard in attack mode. Because I've had that happen a bunch of times in my house, in my yard. Even the house behind me, their dog came charging through the fence board and broke the fence board down and squeezed inside. Good thing I was able to charge the dog 
like at a little bit of a run and scare the dog away. But um, those are the worst places to encounter a dog is in your bedroom, in your living room, your kitchen, inside your house, or your front yard, your backyard, or the street, the streets around you. But what's most common and prevalent these days are the big dogs that wall fart. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say their name so I don't get their butt hurt because this is YouTube. You know, I'm still giving them lots of business every week. I must have spent at least $50,000 at Walfart. So leave your dogs at home. Tell everybody, leave your dogs at home. Just say no to dogs at Walfart. Even if you're a dog lover, seeing another big dog is not funny. It's not fun. It's not cute. It's not social. It's not like, oh, I'm just going to go talk to a dog owner because he's got a, he or she's got a big dog. No, they can see just fine. They are abusing the handicap system for people that are B-L-I-N-D. For those people that are B-L-I-N-D, can't see anything at all. Do they really want to be living life? Because they can't do anything. Not even watch TV. Not watch a movie. Can't pull a job. Can't really keep their family company. But their family or somebody else has to take care of them. And then they, they're going to walk across town by themselves. And going to Walmart and do their shopping by themselves. That's scary and ridiculous. With all due respect for handicapped people. But no, I'm really criticizing the people that are not handicapped at all. Sorry, I had to take a drink. They're not handing up at all. And they're bringing in big dogs in a moment. Yeah, it's a little better if the dog has a muzzle to keep the mouth locked shut and on a leash. But some don't have anything. And those are the most ridiculous and scary. Because they can bite the food. Especially in the produce section. In the meat section. They can bite you. Your daughter. Or even run up and just start sniffing you aggressively. That... Even that worries me that they're so close that they're just going to take a bite. Don't believe their stupid sayings where they say, Oh, a dog's mouth is cleaner than humans. I don't believe that for a second. They've never... Even if they were using mouthwash or brushing their teeth their teeth are so ugly and disgusting and gangly like a shark or alligator and got millions of bacteria hundreds of different kinds of bacteria maybe 
That's what you should be concerned with the most about a dog bite is getting that bite cleaned right away, especially hopefully by a medical professional. See how the light shines behind me like a like a angel, archangel. Anyway, if you see a dog at Walmart. Go to the manager and complain. At least do that. Call the cops. Call the manager and complain. Do something to exercise your voice to slow down, mitigate, and eliminate these dogs at Walfart, other restaurants, in your neighborhood. If you see them roaming your neighborhood, you should call animal control. I hate to say it, it sounds a little gross on YouTube, but I've seen dogs eat their own poop, so they can have worms in their mouth and they bite you. That can go into your leg flesh or arm flesh. That's, a, that's a, beyond a nightmare. That's beyond a medical disaster. So even if you're a dog lover, don't allow this to keep happening in America, in our society, in our cities. This is a epidemic out of control. What you gonna do when they're all looking at you? What you gonna do when they're all looking at you? So, um, stay protected at the minimum. Have a can of pepper spray. Not the bare minimum at Wal Walfart, but buy one a little bit bigger. I got an outdoor supply store that I buy from. Stop the spread of this, this scary riskiness and medical disaster at our stores and our restaurants and our neighborhoods and our houses. Seems like there's all these uh, legal things I got to keep up with. License, insurance, registration. Taking care of a ticket, whatnot, but there's no license to own a dog. Should be though, and all you get is one, not all these two, three, four, five, six. Cats are good animals. Birds are good animals. I feed the neighborhood birds that land on my power poles with bird feed that I buy at the store. Just pour that in a bowl. I feel sorry for the birds that are starving and pecking at the dirt or asphalt. So, I'm not anti animal, anti dog. That's disgusting, creepy. Repulsive, dangerous, danger, danger, danger. Animals ever started. Yeah, and some people don't even believe the Bible because they're trying to misspell. The Noah's Ark story, just because there's so many breeds of dogs, on uh, just that alone, that there's so many breeds of dogs that Noah couldn't possibly bring so many breeds of dogs inside of his large wooden boat.
but you know, over thousands of years, they keep splitting off and creating variations. It's not that difficult. So, accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, keep the commandments, obey the laws of California and the rest of the country. Don't be a douchebag of a man. Don't be a don't make my life any harder by being the creepiest man of America on Dr. Phil. Alright, been about twenty minutes, so I gotta go. Until next time, love you bye.